Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3 on this Friday morning. But uh, it's not just a Friday morning. In the United States, in fact, it's National Donut Day. So we decided we'd steal a little bit, you know, take a leaf out of their book and celebrate donuts in the kitchen because whoever needs an excuse to have donuts, Caitlin? Exactly. I love the way you think. Yeah, uh, I just didn't know that there were so many different kinds of donuts. I thought donuts were just like those little round things with the hole and they have like glazing on top and but there just you know, are so many. There's one for every day of the week. Oh, <laughs> and <man>. more. <laughs> so, so take us through the different kinds of donuts that, that are available. So there, there are quite a lot <clears throat> of um, sort of arguments about where they developed. I like to think that we came up with the donut originally. Really? The Fed Cook. Is the Fed Cook a form of a donut? It is indeed. I didn't know this. Okay, so right. whether you have yours with, with jam or some mince. Mm -hmm. And then we've got uh, the long donuts with cream in them. Yes. The, the long ones, which, which which also got coconut on them, but mm. they're also known as Kuss Sisters. Not Cook Sisters, but... No, the Kuss Sister, the Malay one. Oh, right. There's a difference. Okay. And then we've got donut holes, which are quite big in America. They kind of deep fry the little bits that come out the middle of a ring donut. It just looks like a miniature fit group, though. It, it t totally. <laughs> and they fill them with, like, Nutella or whatever oh. you want. You can pop those into your mouth. Right. Really, really nice. The jam donut, yes. everybody loves. And then we've got mini donuts today, which is what we're making. Okay, we're making caramelized are... white chocolate mini donuts. That just sounds delicious. Let's get into making it. What do we need? Awesome. So every donut is made with a yeast dough. Mm -hmm. So we've got some flour, added a little bit of salt. We're going to rub in some butter. At room temperature? Correct. So it's right. nice and soft. Right. Although the room temperature here today in Cape Town is freezing. <laughs> okay. So you get your hands involved then. Are you, are you once again, as Zola yes. taught me, to aerate as well because you want your donuts nice and fluffy? Yes. Or it, in this case, it's more of just incorporating the fat evenly into it. Because mm -hmm. um, we're not making scones or anything. We're making donuts. Okay. All right. So that goes in there. And then if you'll add the yeast in here for me. All right. This is That's the yeast, the yeast over, there. over there. How much of it? All of it. Okay. So we're using instant yeast today because it's nice and easy. Okay. You don't have to fuss with it too much. All right. There we go. And this then, is a great one for the weekend. I think if you want to get the kids involved in the kitchen. It is. Make some donuts. Oh, <laughs> plus, you know, it's, it's cold. So fresh donuts would be ideal. Perfect. So then, will you pop some uh, caster sugar in there for me? All righty. Just what are we of, looking for? One of those. It's a half a cup. Half a cup. This is quite fun. You can get your hands all dirty. Is that right? Yep. Go okay, for it. So here we go. Depending, depending how sweet you like it. I think I like mine very sweet. But we're going to have the sweetness coming in the caramel form as well. So yes. that's cool. Double sweetness. All right. We're going to crack an egg in here. Careful not to get those shells in there. Yeah, I'm living on the edge. There we go. <laughs> Some milk. Mm -hmm. And that we're just going to stir in to make a dough. Okay. So normally I add like I like to add my liquid a little bit at, at a time because you can't take liquid out, but yes. you can always add it in. Yes. So there we go. And then what going. kind of consistency are you looking for? I mean, obviously that's gonna that's gonna make a big difference once it goes into the oil. You don't want it to be too runny, but also not too stiff and dry. Correct. Why am I even here? It's like you know all this stuff already. Yeah. <laughs> I've been taught well. <laughs> you guys give very good lessons. Awesome. So yeah, um, yeah we're looking for the kind of consistency that's soft, it's pliable, it's not too stiff. Mm -hmm. And once this comes together nicely, we're going to knead it okay, for about okay. eight to ten minutes until it's nice and smooth and elastic. If you've mm -hmm. got a machine, you can you can stick it in there. Oh, exactly. But yeah. I, mean, I, th I always like getting involved with my hands in cooking because it makes you gain so much of an appreciation once the, you, you know the final product. And done. you can taste the love. Exactly. And so, by the way, if you just tuned in, we're making caramelized white chocolate donuts. Yes. Correct. And you can SMS the keyword sweet to three three seven two eight, and you'll get the ingredients list as well as uh, a link to the recipe, so you can make this at home. And remember that SMSs cost one rand fifty, and T's and C's apply. No free SMSs apply, unfortunately. But uh, so after you've mixed it in and so you've got that nice consistency, it's going to look like this. I'm just going to pop these over here. So um, we're going to roll it out, and then we're going to cut out. I've used a little cookie cutter, and I've used the end of a nozzle, mm. piping nozzle, just to get the hole in the middle. And then you let those rise until they're doubled in size. Oh, so when you roll it out, you roll, you roll it yeah, out. Flat. Roll it out with a rolling pin. Mm -hmm. and Not then you too can, flat, with a, with a bit of yeah, yeah, yeah. But these have doubled in size, remember? Oh, okay. And then I'm just going to pop them in some hot oil. And we're just Ready? going to fry those. Okie dokie. This, is, this oil's at 160 degrees. So Would you don't you? want it too hot because otherwise you're gonna, it's going to be raw in the middle. It's going to be doughy. Now. Oh, okay. All right. So you've got to have your oil there for about, uh, I guess, on high for how long? Uh, five and to ten minutes until they're nice and golden brown. They're quite small, so yes. they'll cook quite quickly. All right. And okay. you see they puff up beautifully and they 
They'll, those will go until they're nice golden brown. Lovely. And then we've got some caramelized white chocolate over here, which is just white chocolate and a little bit of vegetable oil, which we've put on a baking sheet and caramelized it in the oven for about at 120 degrees mm -hmm. for about half an hour. And it goes like this. Okay, lovely. So while Amazing. our donuts are puffing up and getting ready, yep. how about you take a look at how we made this recipe and we'll be right back just to put the finishing touches on it. Rub batter into the flour. Add salt, sugar, and yeast. Stir in egg and milk to form a dough. Knead dough until smooth, then leave to rise. Knock dough down, then roll out. Cut into rings, then cover and leave to rise. Deep fry donuts until golden. Drain and leave to cool. Place chocolate onto baking tray, then drizzle with oil. Bake at 120 degrees for 10 minutes, then stir. Continue to bake for another 30 minutes, stirring every 10 minutes. Dip donuts into caramelized chocolate, then leave to set. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to espressoshow.com. You can SMS the keyword SWEET to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Just click on the link provided to view the recipe on our Mobi site. SMS cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs and T's and C's to apply. So once again, that keyword is SWEET to 33728 and you'll get that ingredients list as well as a link to the recipe to make your very own caramelized white chocolate donuts. Lovely treat for the weekend as Caitlin puts on the finishing touches. May I please Party indulge? Party in your mouth. It's really, this is one of my absolute favorites. It's a calorie buster, but delicious. Get in my mouth. <laughs> so, so, so good. Unbelievable. 